Richard and... <laughs> Today, I... I slept for... Six hours last night, and it's not a lot of sleep. Uh, but I woke up, thought I would do some stuff today, and uh, I don't know. Um, I took a nap shortly thereafter, about nine o'clock, maybe ten, until two. And then I took another nap right after until four. And uh, I haven't gotten anything done today. And you're probably asking, well, why are you making the video? Um, probably because, you know, the philosophy of, you know, well, I've done, you know, a day shot. Uh, you know, uh, I got home and there's nothing else to do. You know, I'm going to make food and watch TV and I can't do anything else. Of course you can. You know, so this is going to take all of 10 minutes. And that was the goal was uh, to make a very quick video. Um, and so going into, I guess, um, you know, how you evaluate your time, how you decide to use your time, um, you know, majority of people are up for six, 16 hours, you know, uh, if they're lucky to get eight hours of sleep, you know. <laughs> My therapist told me that uh, being up for 16 hours is too long, implying that eight hours of sleep is not enough. Eight hours of sleep is the most you should be sleeping. And today, if you include the six plus the four plus the two, 12 hours, I slept for 12 hours over the last 24 hours. I don't know how I'm gonna get to sleep tonight. I don't know when I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to get up at about five o'clock in the morning, so. But, the day's not wasted. It's not. You know, uh, if I s decide to stay up for another 12 hours, or if I go to sleep at 12 midnight, that gives me, well, it's 5 o'clock now. Uh, it's 5, 6, 7, 7 hours. I have 7 hours to do stuff. That's, that's an entire work day for some people. Um, you know, so what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to work out. I'm going to do my laundry. Might study a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, and I'm going to do this video in, you know, five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, but, anyways, I guess the moral of the day is to, um, is to remember that, you know, there's plenty of time in the day. You know, just because one thing goes wrong, your tire goes flat and takes you, you know, four hours to repair it. The day's not shot. Okay, don't use that as an excuse to not do anything. You know? If you're doing that, then that's because, by the way, I'm not in focus. If you're doing that, then that means that, you know, that you want to do nothing. So maybe you should. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, something to listen today. Um, something to listen to today. Um, I'd give you something that I'm very passionate about, but I'm not very happy right now. But, um... Uh, uh, you know, this guy's moving up on my favorites list, I guess. Um, uh, you know, I'm not really into big band stuff or, um, you know, show tunes or anything like that. But, um, you know, this stuff is really good. Uh, of course it is. I wouldn't be recommending it if it wasn't. But, um, the Divine Comedy, you know, uh, song to listen to from him. A uh, good place to start is, uh, what's my favorite one right now? Well, his biggest one, biggest, uh, or most popular song is uh, National Express. Pretty good. Uh, you know, a lot of the lyrics are very funny in most of his songs, and, you know, that, th they're interesting and um, relatable. Um, but, uh, so that's his most popular, uh, National Express, and then the other one is, um, uh, assume the perpendicular. Uh, that's that's my favorite song by him. Uh, very, um, I don't know. Uh, it, it's because it, it's not it's not necessarily a happy song, and it's not necessarily a sad song. Um, but it's it's not upbeat. It's not downbeat. But somehow it does make me happy. So 
Um, that's a good one. Something to watch. Um, hmm. Uh, the Aviator. Um, actually, I just watched J. Edgar the other night. Uh, very, very strange how uh, Leonardo DiCaprio basically did two of the same movies uh, and got away with it. But um, but they're both good. Uh, but The Aviator is, is definitely better. I didn't know that uh, you know um, Howard Hughes you know uh, was born in Humble and lived in Tech, uh, lived in Houston, which is right down the street from me. Uh, by right down the street, I mean right down 45. Um, so that's not really uh, conducive to. Uh, Anyways, uh, great movie, um, you know, it's long, but um, very interesting, very interesting material there. And I, um, anyways, uh, something about you, me that you don't know, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I lost a ton of weight, if you didn't know that. Uh, I used to weigh in excess of 320 pounds, that was back in 2007. Uh, uh, was not very attractive looking at my brother's wedding and um, so that was 2007 there'll be an image of me back then now very embarrassing very embarrassing um, <laughs> uh, but now I've lost uh, a total of 90 pounds since then and you know how I did it exercise and diet no one wants to hear that but that's how I did it maybe I'll do a video on that another day but let's wrap this up and I can go do the stuff that I need to do because I still have time in the day to do it um, all right well thanks for watching my second video I'm surprised I did it but maybe that's a good thing maybe that's a sign of you know uh, turning my fortunes and maybe you'll consider the same next time you you think the day is shot mm -mm. nope guns not uh, the days of days not a person it wasn't shot with a gun you know all right, thanks, bye. Did it in one, did it in one, did it in one, well. Huh? <laughs>